Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. This is Sundar Rabindranathan here. Hey guys, how is everybody? What's up? I hope I am visible and audible. Am I? Come on guys, please tell me if I am visible. Hey Akshay, come on, don't tell me that. Super, awesome. So guys, welcome to part two of the most important determiners uh, topic. So this is a very important concept in uh, grammar. Okay, before we move on, so a quick, quick, uh, you know, welcome to the new students who are there in today's session. So welcome, guys, on behalf of you, please welcome all the new students uh, who are new members of the Vedantu Young Wonders family. Come on, come on, come on. <coughs> ah, that is a surprise. I'm not going to tell you which quiz we are going to run tomorrow at 1 p.m. Hi, Ritika. Uh, Harish, just now you joined and you're saying ignoring. <laughs> Hello, Apurva. Welcome, welcome. Hi Nandini. So guys, let us start. I think it's time. So, guys, before I start anything, something very important. All the Vedantu courses, alright, you can avail excellent, excellent scholarships. 10 plus crore worth of scholarship pool, totally. Okay, we are conducting a scholarship aptitude test. We call it as Vedantu Scholarship Aptitude Test or Admission Test. And that is happening every Sunday. Please register for free in this link. vdnt.in slash yt. Yt is YouTube Vedantu Scholarship Admission Test. Join that and make use of it, guys. You can learn from the lovely teachers of uh, Vedantu and uh, for rock bottom prices. I know you guys are immensely talented. Just do a great job in this scholarship test. And I'm sure you're going to avail great scholarships and uh, you know join these courses yeah so far so as usual some we will leave we will leave uh, a few seconds for uh, a few of our friends to join and then we will go ahead okay cool <clears throat> hey guys am i audible Hi, Satya. Namaskar. <laughs> Is it buffering? Let me try something to see if this is going to solve the buffering issue. Is it better now? Hi, Lochana. Is it better now? Hi Ria, hello guys. Guys, it's raining heavily out here because of which I think the internet is getting disturbed. <coughs> Super, right guys, let us move on. So guys, yes, Vedantu Young Wonders, we conduct live sessions for math, science, English and social on a daily basis, right? And whom do we cover? 6th, 7th and 8th grades. That is the best part. Every session is a live session followed by a mentee quest. I'm sure you're going to love it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Let us move on. Determiners. Guys, why are determiners important? They actually, you know, uh, make the meaning of the noun or information about the noun very, very crisp and precise. So as a result of it, you will find your communication becoming very, very crisp and precise when you use determiners in the right way. I repeat, why are determiners important? Determiners are important to make your communication very sharp and precise. 
because what do they take care of determiners take care of the nouns they give you more you know information about the nouns and that is why your communication becomes very 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 crisp guys very very rarely we use sentences without nouns very rarely <coughs> so that means most of the sentence we use nouns and when we use determiners your communication becomes a lot lot focused you getting it that is why determiners are important guys is everyone clear why are determiners uh, very essential come on give me your yo guys come on come on come on tell me yes awesome buffering very sorry guys i can't really help uh, because i don't know why this problem is coming okay right let us move on <clears throat> i know guys i know please pardon us can't help it's raining heavily out here i have a high speed wifi but still we can't help it right to recap what is a determiner i just told you determiner is something which gives you additional information about a noun thereby modifying a noun into a crisp form okay right i'll give you an example this is my water bottle okay if you just say water bottle doesn't make sense this is my water bottle my is what it's a pro possessive determiner so when you say my about this noun water bottle i am making i am giving you complete information so your communication becomes very very focused and complete i hope now you are understanding a lot yes super so a determiner generally comes before a noun not after okay and it also comes before adjectives which help you describe a noun i'll explain you with examples now guys you know what are we going to do before we are going to see six rules of using determiners very interesting just six quick rules and then we jump to menti since i have already covered determiners i'm going to be fast here now guys during this exam season vedantu has created topic wise courses for every topic one course and the best of vedantu teachers have taken them and what is the advantage see generally certain topics or you know you have doubts right such topics go to this link vdnt.in/ytmicro youtube micro courses that means vdnt.in/ytmicro okay great so go to this course uh, go to this particular website pick as many topic wise courses as you want to you know what is the cost you can see that on the screen 1 rupee flat come on guys this is crazy right just pick as many as you want and get benefited superb types of determiners four types of determiners one is articles articles generally are definite and indefinite definite article is when you know which noun you are going to speak about okay he is the leader the we are going to say what is which is the noun the a uh, specifying who is being specified by using the the is called a definite article but when you say there is a leader we don't know which leader is it not so a and an are indefinite articles demonstrative determiners this that these those all these come under demonstrative possessive just now i said right this is my water bottle i possess this it's called a possessive determiner okay this is your water bottle this is their room okay right so it is his book all these are possessive who possesses that noun it is it comes under possessive determiner last one quantifiers it will speak about how many nouns are there quantify the noun there are few books okay there are few books uh have some have some water all right he has six fingers you got it so all these are quantifiers numbers now my dear kids 
So these are the types of data miners: articles, demonstrators, possessive, quantifiers. So six, six, them six simple thumb rules for using data miners, right? Number one, guys, remember data miners always come first in the noun phrase before the noun determiner will be there. Look at an excellent example. This room is the guest bedroom. This room, room is a noun before which this comes. This is a determiner. Is the guest whose bedroom? The guest bedroom. The again definite article. So determiners always come before the noun. Clear all of you? Then your sister rang while you were at the shop. Your sister rang. Your who rang? The noun sister. Your is again a determiner. So determiner first rule. Determiner always come before you know the noun phrase. First in the noun phrase. Cool. Rule number two, my dear kids. Quickly, this is very simple. Determiners are required whenever you use single noun, singular nouns. It's a must to use determiners. Singular noun. See, there is only one pen. I gave him. I gave him pen. Doesn't make any sense. I gave him my pen. Determiner is a must there. My. I gave him the pen. I gave him that pen, or I gave him a pen. All these cases. What are we saying? Just because it is a singular noun, which is pen, you have to use a determiner either my, the, that, or a. Uh. My dear kids, is everyone clear with this? Rang means you got a phone call. He made a telephone call. Okay. <clears throat> Tell this. Are you clear? Give me a yo, guys. Come on. My God, I know it is buffering a lot. What do we do? <coughs> no problem, Sisti. Great, guys. Let us move on. Rule number three. To speak about a singular noun, which we just spoke about, right? Pen. Generally, use an indefinite article. Whenever you want to speak about a singular noun, when you want to speak about, remember, only if you are speaking about that, not generally when you are mentioning, there is a difference. When you want to speak about a singular noun, use the indefinite article a or an. So I am speaking about, you know what? A dog is a good pet. We are speaking about a dog. A is an indefinite article, article, right? An ostrich would beat a chicken in a race. So, and whenever you want to speak about a singular noun, Use an indefinite article. You want to speak about. Only when you are speaking about it. Otherwise generally. I gave him my pen. There also a singular noun is there. But we are not speaking about the noun. You got the difference guys. Both of both the, are very important differences. Okay we are just telling. I gave that pen to him. But if you want to speak about the pen. Or you want to speak about a dog or an ostrich. You have to use a singular noun. A dog is a good pet. And our stretches would beat a, you know, a chicken in a race. Got it? This is rule number three. My dear kids, I really wanted to know if you guys are understanding rule number three. Come on, give me a yo. My apologies, guys. I know it is buffering a little. I can't help it. If you want, I can try with my hotspot. Not very sure. Okay, guys, definitely I can always be loud, as loud as you want, no problem. That is in my control, but this internet is not in my control. All I can do is get a hi fi, uh, you know, high speed connection. Despite that, if it rains, we can't help, right? It's okay. Right. Whenever, Kavita, whatever is your doubt, please let me know. Okay. Kids, rule number four. Guys, in two uh, slides, we are going to go to Menti. Be ready to speak. So watch out these slides very carefully. Questions might come. I don't know. 
Now, similarly, if you want to speak about a plural noun, a dog is a pet, one singular, so we have to use an indefinite article. Now, if you are speaking about a plural noun, cars are better way of transportation. Don't use a determiner at all. Guys, remember, whenever you are speaking specifically about a plural noun, you don't need to use a determiner. Apples are good for health. Where is the determiner here? No determiners, correct? So cars are better modes of transportation. Apples are good for health. Whenever you're speaking about any plural noun, don't use a determiner. Got it? Great. Okay, here we go. Rule number five, quickly guys, to speak about a singular noun specifically, use a definite article. This or that blue car is mine. Specifically, if you want to say that blue car is mine, use a definite article. What is a definite article? That, the, is, one, etc. So whenever rule number five is, if you want to specify about a singular noun, use a definite article or a demonstrative pronoun, processive pronoun or a quantifier. All the four you can use. Okay, I just gave an example. Demonstrative pronoun is car. Possessive pronoun, got it? So this is rule number five. Whenever you want to speak about a singular noun, use an art definite article, demonstrative pronoun, possessive pronoun or a quantifier. My dear kids, I know it's getting difficult for you guys. Come on. That is why I'm making it simple and fast for you. Last rule before we jump to Menti. Be ready. To speak about a plural noun. So singular noun we just spoke. If you want to speak about a plural noun, specifically you want to speak about it. Okay. Use a definite article, demonstrative pronoun or a possessive pronoun. These clothes are ironed. Specifically, these clothes are ironed. My books have back cover. So what are we using? My, possessive pronoun. Right? These clothes, demonstrative pronouns. Got it, guys? So use a definite article. The metal cans are recyclable. The is definite article. So guys, these are six thumb rules of using determiners. Clear? Guys, jumping on to Menti. Sudeep, come on. Come on, come on, beta. Here we go. Menti on your screens. Hi, guys, now. Come on. <clears throat> See, uh, Ananya demonstrative pronouns, right? That, these, etc. Yes. Guys, the Menti code is 562947. 562947. Highly, highly appreciate all of you, guys, because patiently you guys have been waiting, listening to the session, despite all the buffering. Thank you so much, my dear boys and girls. That's my boys and girls, actually. Yes. 562947. For people who are new, you have to go to open another tab. Don't quit YouTube. Just open another tab. Type www.menti.com. M-E-N-T-I. M-E-N-T-I. Menti.com. And it's going to ask you for a code. Type the code 562947. Yes, PUBG. Come on. Shall we start the... 
Wes, give me a yo, guys. Come on. Five, six, two, nine, four, seven. <clears throat> Here we go. First question. Starting the quiz. Guys. Be ready. Be ready. Come on. Come on. Come on. First question on your screens. I need to pack dash apple for my lunch. <coughs> and the A. <coughs> Sorry. And the L. And it is very dry. 225 of you got it right. So, and is what article? Definite or indefinite? Indefinite. It could be any of the apple. One apple, right? An apple. So, indefinite article. A determiner. Number. Read about now. So, love sight at the top, followed by path, arase, ted, and ashe. Earthman, Naitik, Elsa, Adi, Rushi. Here we go. Question number two. Blight, Esilon. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, please. Oh no. You guys got that? Very dash people fly because of terrorist activities. Few. Right? Quantifiers. Few. Quantifiers. Come on. Leaderboard. Parth, RSA, Ashe, Earthman, and Rushi. Top. Okay, Parth, Rushi, Kritika, Deepika, RSA. Lot of changes. Wow. Radhika, Dikshit, Sankal, Pashe, and Earthman. Next five. Guys, question number three on your screens. Be ready. If we don't move faster, we will miss our transfer to Munich. If there isn't dash time to waste. Little, any, few. Again, kind of quantifiers only. Any, how many chose any? Come on, come on. Wow, 204 of you got it right. Any, there isn't any time to waste. Now, what's going to do or happen to the leaderboard? Leaderboard Parth is still at the top. Wow. Parth Gawande followed by Rushi Asya, RSA Mayank. Vartaman, Rupal, Vidya, Earthman, and Badwa. Wow. Question number four, guys. <clears throat> there isn't dash water left. So drink only if you must. Time is up. Let alone. Wow. Okay, guys, how come so many of you chose some here? There is some water left, so drink only if you must. Doesn't make sense, right? There is little water left. There is very little water left. There is little water left. 192 of you got this right. Little is again a kind of a quantifier, right? It quantifies how much water is there. But still at the 
Top. Yes. RSA Ashe Mayank Earthman. Vidya Badwa Srishti and Pins. Along with Kula Tarwa at the bottom. Guys, question number five on your screens. Despite the advances in technology, dash of the universe is yet to be discovered. Much more several. Interesting, is it not? Interesting question. One thirty-nine of you got this right. Much of the universe is yet to be discovered. We still know, we don't know much about the universe despite the advances in technology. Wow. So guys, question number six, before that the leaderboard, RSA, what is your name RSA? Uh oh, Vidya is at the top, RSA has gone down, followed by Ashe, Srishti, Kula Tarwan, RSA, top five. Shivani, Radhika, Badwa, Sri Vaishnavi and twins. Wow. Guys, next question on your screens. She has gone to Turkey for dash months for her treatment. Every each several. Come on guys, this is very easy. Come on, you guys can pick it up. So, question number six. How many show several? Wow, two twelve of you. Wow, wow, wow. Woohoo! Good guys. Two hundred and twelve of you chose this. Now, is it going to change the leaderboard? Let's check. Prakriti, I'm very, very sorry, Prakriti. My apologies. I'm feeling bad, but I can't help, right? Ashe. Vidya, Srishti, RSA and Kula Tarva. Mayank, Shivani, Radhika, Badwa and Srinidhi. Bottom 5. Guys, last one or two questions. Be ready. Ashay is at the top now. Hi Neha. Hi Reji. Hello Shruti. Guys, welcome all. I am very sorry. I am not able to help you guys. Dash of the 16 teams in the cup were represented with their flags. Represented with their flags. Every, all, several. Come on, if you look at the definite article, you will know what to say. Wow, all the 16 teams in the cup were represented with their flags. 232 of you got this right. Ashe, come on Ashe, still in the top? No, I think there is a change now. Vidya is rocking. Wow, Vidya, Srishti, Srishti is at number two. RSA, Radhika and Kula Darwa. It's like a Formula One race here. Come on, wow, wow, wow. Maya and Ashe, Shibani, Sanvi and Vartaman. Come on guys. Probably, probably the last question, I don't know. Let me check. I can do very dash work at nights despite dash my efforts. Less whole, any more, little all. Fit in the first and the second word in the relevant places and find out the right answer. Time is running. Ah, little and all. I can do very little work at night despite all my efforts. So, who's going to win the leaderboard today? Let us figure it out. Mayank wins the leaderboard. Wow, what a change last minute, guys. Well done, Mayank. 7,482 points. Keep it up. Many, many congratulations. Followed by Badwa Siddharth. Srinidhi Shibani, top five, Vishwa, Ronald, Aditya, Kanav, and Ted. Next five, guys, congratulations to you as well.
Many congratulations. Keep it up, guys, for having made to the leaderboard till the end. Wow. My dear kids, let me go back here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you, you know, again, my apologies, my dearest kids. I really, really, I am amazed at the kind of patience you have and the trust in us. You waited patiently. I hope, you know, that is why I did not disconnect the session. I wanted to, you know, continue with it. We will ensure that doesn't happen. Okay. God has to help by not creating these kind of natural havocs like rain and stuff. Okay, guys. So if you like the video and if you're clear about data miners, hit the like button and newcomers, I hope you like the flow. It is a live session followed by a quest. Hit the subscribe button and let us know you're supporting us. Thank you so much for watching my day, guys. Wow, great, Hitain. Great, great, great. Right? Until I meet you guys in the coming session tomorrow at 1.30 with a very exciting quest. This is myself, Sundar Ravindranathan, signing off, guys. Sleep well. Have a very good night. Bye-bye.